Start all IDM servers including Node Manager, Admin Server and Oracle HTTP Server. So this is the next step in the sequence of steps leading us to start Fusion applications. So, so far we have just completed starting the database listener and the database for IDM and that's where we are. Now instead of starting each of the individual component of IDM one by one, which would take a very long time, Oracle has provided a standard script which starts all the node manager, all the IDM servers, including admin server and Oracle HTTP server. So let's use that script to expedite the process of starting the entire IDM servers. So I'm going to minimize this and I will switch to the terminal and here I will issue that script. So what you've got to do it is you've got to first change to this directory on which you have installed your IDM and then simply issue the command start all dot sh which is a standard script provided by Oracle and it starts everything in IDM and it will ask you for node manager password and then it will ask you for weblogic admin password and provide that and it's going to take around 10 to 15 minutes depending on your server configuration to start everything in Oracle Fusion middleware server. All right, so it has taken around 15 minutes to start the entire Oracle Fusion identity management server. So as you could see, we've started the OID, the node manager, the admin server, and the ODSM, SOA, OIM, OAM, and lastly, Oracle HTTP server. So that constitutes the processes for starting the IDM server. Now as a next step, we've got to go and verify from the front end that all the IDM related servers are up and running.